Hello, I'm Alice. I'm a community midwife working at North Bristol Trust and I'm also 30 weeks pregnant. Hi, my name's Victoria. I'm a birth centre midwife and I'm going to be talking to you today about active birth and also positions for labour along with my colleague Alice. Active labour is typically when you'll need one-to-one care in labour with a midwife. It is also when your contractions will become more frequent and more intense. There are two ways of knowing whether or not you're in active labour. The first is by monitoring your contractions. When you are in active labour, your contractions will be stronger, longer and more frequent. You can see in this graphic, the early labour is shown on the blue line. Your contractions will be spaced further apart, they will be more irregular with some being stronger than others and some being longer than others. And when you get into active labour, as shown by the green line, your contractions will usually be equally spaced and equal in length, strength and frequency. And in the space of about 10 minutes, we would normally expect you to be having three to four contractions, which will usually last between 45 and 60 seconds. Another way that midwives can tell if you're in the active part of your labour is by performing a vaginal examination with your permission. When we examine you, we would expect to find that your cervix is at least three to four centimetres dilated when you're in active labour. Your behaviour in active labour will often be noticeably different. In early labour, you will be easily distracted and often be able to still talk through a contraction. In active labour, the intensity of your contractions will make it harder for you to focus on anything but your labour. In active labour, the cervix, which is the neck of the womb, has to open from 4 cm to 10 cm dilated in order for the baby to be born. This, for a first-time mum, will take up to 6 to 14 hours on average. Now we'd like to show you what happens to your body and how your baby works with you during active labour. This is the pelvis and there are lots of changes that occur during your pregnancy that will help you out in labour. At the front, you have the symphysis pubis. Your hormones in pregnancy soften and relax the ligaments here, allowing it to move more and give more space to your baby. At the back, you have the sacroiliac joints and the coccyx. The pregnancy hormones will also soften the ligaments around here and allow this to lift in labour, giving more room for your baby to come down and out. Your baby works with you during labour and it does this in a number of ways. First of all, your baby will tuck its head down with its chin on its chest so that the smallest part of the head is coming down the birth canal first. Also, your baby has lots of bones in its head which are not yet fused together and these create the soft spots which we call the fontanelles and the suture lines which are the joins in between the bones. These can overlap to allow your baby's head to change shape as it navigates its way through the birth canal and through your pelvis. Alice and I are now going to show you some positions which you could use during active labour to help you and your baby progress through your labour easily. So the first one that we're going to show you is on the birthing ball here. So the benefits to being on the birthing ball are that you're in an upright position, which helps your pelvis, as Alice is showing you here, maintain a more upright position, which enables your baby to navigate its way through it much more easily. Also, those joints that she showed you before with the sacroiliac joints and the symphysis pubis at the front, when you are moving on the birthing ball, it allows them to move and allow your baby easier passage through your pelvis. It also has the benefit of supporting you, so it's one of the easier positions to sit in rather than some of the standing ones which you might find a little bit harder work. It's important to make sure that your birthing ball is inflated enough that your knees are not higher than your hips and also that when you're on the ball you're using it to rotate and move your hips from side to side or in figures of eight rather than using it to bounce up and down. This will allow your baby to make its way through your pelvis much more easily and won't won't impact it into a more difficult position which bouncing can do. This is a birthing stool. Most commonly this is used in the second stage of labour, so the part where you're pushing. It's really useful for supporting you when you're in a squatting position. When you're squatting, it helps this bottom part, the outlet of your pelvis, open up wider, allowing your baby to come out. And also when you're sitting on it like this, it allows that freedom of movement in your coccyx to allow your baby the most space to come out. Positions like this, where you are more upright or forward leaning, perhaps you could be on all fours or even standing and leaning over a bed or something high, allows your pelvis to be in this kind of position. Your birth canal is curved following the shape of your pelvis, so if you are lying on your back, your baby might have a more difficult journey progressing down through the birth canal. If you are in an upright and forward position like Alice was just showing, 
then your baby can progress more easily following that curve and using gravity to help descend through the birth canal. Sometimes in labour it can be useful to lie down if either you're tired or perhaps if you've had an epidural and therefore you're unable to adopt the more upright forwards and mobile positions that we were showing you in the earlier positions. In this particular position Alice is using a peanut ball. What this is doing is it's helping to keep her pelvis in an open position and allow movement in her pelvis and allow her coccyx to move so that baby can progress through the birth canal. This position is useful for encouraging descent of the baby, so it allows the baby to come down to the lowest point and the outlet of your pelvis where just before they're born. By having your knees together, but your ankles supported apart by the peanut ball, it allows the widest diameter, so the biggest space between these two points of your pelvis, and will allow your baby easier passage to be born.